New nurse, feeling like a want to quit nursing for good. Ever since I started my first ever nursing job one year ago, I have had crippling anxiety when it comes to work. I work 312 HR day shifts, on a med SURG teleortho floor. When I first started this job, I was working 4 to 5 8 HR evening shifts a week. At my hospital, I get floated a lot, almost every shift, so I have been able to experience many other areas of med SURG nursing such as neuro, cardiac, LTC, oncology, etc. I really started questioning whether or not I wanted to even stick out this career choice at about three months into my new grad residency. I was so anxious and was hating being a nurse already at three months. Most people told me to stick it out and that it will get better, however, I feel like I have started to hate nursing more and more every day that passes. I dread going into work and have miserable anxiety on the days I work. I mean, laying on the bathroom floor sobbing and having a panic attacks before my shift, calling out as much as possible, requesting to be cut or stand by every single shift. It's bad. I'm becoming depressed and I can see my mental health deteriorating because of this job. I used to enjoy at least the patient care aspect of nursing, but at this point, I hardly enjoy that at all anymore. The days I have work are just absolutely miserable to me and make me feel more anxiety than I've ever felt before. Because I float a lot, I am able to experience many other areas of nursing. My home floor, ortho, is a very heavy floor. Definitely the busiest floor I've worked on in our hospital. I thought that maybe it was working on an ortho floor that was burning me out, however, I feel exactly the same, even when I work on other med SURG floors. I am starting to feel so burned out already. The stress of being a nurse, the politics, and the heavy workload is really what makes me hate it. There's quite a few other reasons, such as management, patients constantly screaming at me, being tossed around to different units halfway through my shift like a rag doll, and many other things. I also just do not feel that desire to do nursing anymore. I do not feel the spark that I used to feel when I was in nursing school. I've considered applying at outpatient nursing jobs or working in a clinic to ease up the workload, but at this point, I feel that I have no interest in a nursing job or patient care at all anymore. I've also considered case management type jobs, but I only have one year experience and I do not think I can mentally handle another year working as a bedside nurse. I'm worried that if I quit my job, I will regret it because I really have no idea what other career options I would want, and the one good thing about my job is having so many days off with good pay to support my family, so I'm worried I won't find a job that will be able to do the same. If anyone has any advice or has gone through this, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks. I'm not sure how your hospital operates but the fact that you are floated so much as a new grad might have a big reason why you have so much anxiety. At my hospital we don't float new nurses for the first six months and when we float we all rotate. Having a designated home floor you are in consistently will help build your confidence BC you will be working W nurses and techs you can build a relationship with, who can mentor and help you. I highly recommend looking for a hospital that doesn't have such an aggressive float policy. Nurses take about a year to feel comfortable and I don't see how you are benefiting from floating so much. I agree with the floating as a new grad point. I have been a nurse for a very long time and worked in a variety of settings and have never seen any new grads floated for at least six months. You can't even get your bearings when you are all over the place like that. OP you may want to lol into home health or another non-hospital setting. You may find more satisfaction in a role like that. Find a new job. You weren't cared for. I'd volunteer to float if it meant a new grad stayed on their home unit. Fuck them. Take care of yourself. I second this. Our hospital doesn't let new grads float until they've been off of orientation for a full six months. You need to get yourself established before all of that moving around. I used to cry before work when I worked at my first job on a PCU. I switched specialties and recommend that you look into it before giving up on nursing altogether. You might like something like PACU or endoscopy. I enjoy PACU because it is not even an option for us to be floated, the schedule is nice, 3 twelves, no weekends, patients are sleepy and families are not allowed. It also is not normal to get floated that often. I only ever got floated once when I worked on the floor. That would make me anxious too and I am not a new nurse. They are taking advantage of you. 
there is a reason that resource slash float nurses typically make a lot more money and you are doing it for regular pay. Hi. I'm in the same boat as OP. I'm currently eyeing a pre-OP slash PACU position. So, it's nice to see you enjoy it at least. Don't give up on nursing just yet. Try working elsewhere. I had anxiety while working a 13-hour shift inpatient hospital position. Just recently switched to an in-hospital clinic where I work 8-hour shifts and am feeling much better. There's all kind of nursing jobs out there. I did home care nursing straight out of nursing school and stayed for 5 years now I'm a case manager for a large insurance provider and can work from home 100% best choice I've made. My first year on the floor was hell. Anxiety and panic attacks daily, I thought switching to a better hospital would help. It didn't. I eventually moved into the medical group and I love my job now. I never have bad days like I used to from my anxiety about going into work. While it pays less than a hospital position the peace of mind is worth it. There are other nursing positions out there, you don't have to work on the floor to be a nurse. What do you mean by medical group? Sorry I'm another new grad that's hoping a change of scenery will help things. Honestly I feel the same way. I have anxiety and many panic attacks before work as well. I work in the NICU so I'm constantly worrying about messing up. I've been working over a year and I also have been floated many times. Floating is what really gets to me. I hate not knowing what I'll be doing where I'll be going. It adds so much more stress. Especially when this whole COVID thing started. I hated thinking what if I was in contact with a positive patient in another unit and I spread it to the babies. My sleep is terrible, I eat terrible, I really don't have energy to do anything, my neck and shoulders are always tense. I honestly feel like I'm never relaxed, sad face. Nursing is intense and maybe not for all of us, sad face. Nursing sucks. You're not the only one who feels this way. We are a body. We fill a place. We don't matter. They don't give two craps about us. At all. I tell everyone who wants to be or is in school how much it sucks. I love what I do, helping people but I hate everything else about it. The politics, drama, bullying, etc. Nursing sucks. Still in it BC I'm not sure what else to do that pays comparable in the hours. I feel so bad for you but I've been there before. My recommendation to you is to go with office nursing. I know it's probably not your first choice, but take care of you first. It will be less money, but it will be better for you. Then in a few months year time if you feel you want to try out new skills or go back to the hospital you can do that. I took a break and worked in an OB office for a year, it was wonderful. Here's what I would do. 1. Change the hospital. You floated everywhere and you still hate it. Pick a unionized hospital if possible. Point 2. Change your specialty. Aim for more specific BS generalized, such as ICU, PACU, endoscopy, or, dialysis, wound care, etc. 3. I would stick with inpatient for at least another year. It won't hurt to have a solid foundation even if you decide to pursue outpatient nursing. Point 4. Look into grad education options. Shadow an NP, a CRNA, a manager, a clinical research specialist. Get an idea of what would be your long-term goal, then work towards it. Point 5. Take a break while looking for a new job. Don't accept a position without shadowing and meeting the crew. Interview your interviewers. P.S. I worked in neuro slash ortho rehab as a CNA during nursing school. There is a reason why these units have such high turnover. Good luck. Had severe anxiety at my old job as a new grad, couldn't imagine being floated. Try working at a smaller hospital, that did the trick for me. I don't absolutely love every day but at least I don't have crippling anxiety over going to work anymore. I felt the way you do about another career that I had in the past. I changed career paths to get into nursing. 
But the one piece of advice that I would suggest is for you to create a list of attributes that you want in a career and start looking for careers that best fit those attributes and you wouldn't be absolutely miserable working in that field. I'm sorry that you feel this way about nursing after you have already gotten your degree. I know that realization sucks. Floating was the biggest reason I left bedside nursing and went to home care and hospice. I felt every shift doing bedside that I was risking my license. I really found my stride in home care and hospice. There are so many options in nursing that you can surely find something better that won't negatively impact your mental health. Yo! Don't quit the field, it's your money maker. Change speciality fields, hop around until you have a hoard of money to sit on. Or pursue your NP and go outpatient with bankers hours. Just find a different nursing job. It's that simple. There's tons of jobs where you have none of what is bothering you. You can work at a dang methadone clinic and literally just take vitals and hand out a week's worth of medicine and make a note in the chart. You can do home health. You can be a school nurse. You can do chart auditing. Like hundreds of things to do. I question any hospital that isn't using the standard of waiting six months to start floating people. I think looking for a calmer outpatient job may be appropriate. <laughs>